What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Fan Pals Feedback. My name is Alex, and today we are going to be looking at the Taurus K320 by Durgod. It's a keyboard that sports the MX Cherry silent switches, similar to what Ducky has. And it's kind of in the similar price point, and it's a keyboard that a lot of people seem to ask questions about. You know, is it just as good as Ducky? Is it not as good? Is it worth the money? <laughs> so today we're going to find out. Now before we go too much into it, guys, if you have any questions about this video or any other videos, please feel free to hop into my stream. The link is in the down in the description. And you guys can ask any questions if it's from your OBS settings, your troubleshooting, your skipping frames, or anything like that. Hop into the stream. I'm always open to answering your guys' questions or looking to make new videos for you guys if you have uh, comments or anything like that. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys are the best. <laughs> All right, guys. So now I've got the box open here, and I got everything out laid out in front of me. So most importantly, you guys probably want to see what the keyboard looks like. So I got the keyboard here. It looks pretty nice. I like the blue and the gray. This is, um, I don't know what color scheme this is. I think it just says black and gray or black and blue or something like that. But, uh, no, I definitely like how this looks. It's pretty compact. I like it. And, uh. And as you guys can see, I'm going to flex it, try to flex it a little bit. It's sturdy. Like, there's no flex in it. You know, I'm trying to bend that pretty hard. No flex, nothing. That's pretty good. Uh, it seems strong. You know, it feels like I could probably try and break it over my knee and hurt my knee. No, I'm just kidding. Why would you want to break your keyboard over your knee? If you do that, you need to seek anger counseling. Don't come here for that. This is for tech only. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Um, what else is in the box? We also have a USB to USB-C cord. It's six feet. Nice and long. All nice. I The reason these aren't in packaging is because I did use this keyboard for a couple days before I gave this review to test it out and see what it was like before I gave you guys a review. Make sure it's a nice, honest review because that's what this channel is about. Honest reviews. I give you guys my honest opinion on all these products to see what I think about them because, I mean, I'm not getting paid by Dirt God. Um... But anyways, let's continue on. You also get a USB-C to USB-C six-foot cord, and it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll do a little close-up uh, when I when we take off the switches and all that. Uh, but these these cords have like a little grooves in them to go into the back of the keyboard, so that there's no that the cord doesn't like wiggle around or anything. You don't have to worry about it possibly coming disconnected. Not that that's really a concern. But I like it. It's cool. Definitely a good design. Um, what else? A oh, key puller. Nice. Who doesn't need that? A dust cover. And a little instruction guide. Because this keyboard does come with its own software. It's called the Zeus software. And you guys can customize keys. So if you're playing certain games that you want to macro keys to or something like that, uh, you can do that. Okay, so now I got the keyboard out, and we're going to take a little bit closer look at the actual keyboard here itself. So I'll, I'll pop some keys off, but before we do that, uh, we're just going to take a quick look at the actual space between the keycaps and the keyboard. So you guys can see from this angle that there's kind of a, a space right here. It's probably about a millimeter, maybe more, maybe about like three. Um, it's enough that you can you can actually see the switches um, from this from this flat angle. Um, and you can see down, like you can see from here. So uh, it's not really a cause for concern. I don't, I'm not worried about these getting knocked off or anything. I'm hitting them straight down here, and nothing's happening. I'm not really worried about them breaking or anything like that. But it would be cause for concern of uh, having to clean it more, making sure that the other side's clean, so your switches don't get messed up or jammed up or gunked up or something like that, which would be unfortunate. So now I'm gonna pull off my keys on the side here. Get that under there. We got our key puller. And look, it's just that easy. Pop them off. And look at that. We got our cherry reds hiding under there. So the Eric, the MX cherry reds are actually slightly smaller than the OEM. So it's a little bit nicer to type on. They're uh, not as hard to click down. And uh, it almost it helps for a little bit slightly faster response time um, from OEM switches. So we got our switches here. Do a little zoom in. Take a little closer look. 
And zoom in. Zoomed. Sorry, guys. All right, now we'll clear it up. Make it a little nicer. All right, so we got our switches here. So you guys can see. We'll have a sound test in a minute. Um, just based on the angle, the mic can't really hear what, where the, the sound. And that's kind of the reason that they're so quiet and the reason I picked this keyboard. So now these key, these switches are not backlit. You can get backlit um, keyboards. It is slightly more expensive than this one. This keyboard will run you about $100 US or $140 Canadian uh, without the backlit switches. The backlit switches are slightly more because of the lights. And the this and they have pretty cool programming for, for the lights, so you have to pay for that as well. Okay. All right. Now let's zoom back out. Oh, look at that. We're back out. Hi, everybody. And so now we'll look at the back side of it. So on the back side here, we have rubber feet. F five rubber feet. One, two, three, four, five, and then. There's two stage customizable feet. So you pop them out, you can go stage two, or you can go stage one. They're slightly smaller on the inside. And it's just your standard uh, angle for, for, for a keyboard. But it's nice that they have the two or the, the flat profile where you can lay it straight down. And like I was saying earlier in, the, in this video, they have a specific type of, of port here that only their chords are compatible with essentially. So if you guys want to customize your chord, it would be a lot harder because as you can see, it has these wings. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see better. Right here. So as you guys can see, it's got these wings on the side of it. So it has to slide down in. It slides in very nicely, right? It slides in, I'm gonna put this down. So it slides in here, super nice, catches on the wings, and then it's in, nice and easy. All right, and you guys can see it's, it sits in there nice, and uh, it's kind of protected. Like there's, you have no worries about this, this ever popping out and, and getting disconnected. That's a, that's a really nice design. It's very, it's very sleek. I, I, I like it a lot. All right, guys. So now we have open our Zeus engine software, and in this engine software, it's where you're able to remap keys on your keyboard, and you're able to customize set macros and things like that. So you can see in here, I don't have any of these other devices. The only device I have is this keyboard. So we'll click on it, and it brings us in here. And so this is just a default profile that's set up. And in here, um, all the stuff remains the same. So we'll click a new one. We'll, we'll, we'll figure around with a new one. And so we'll click on here and we'll change the print screen. So print screen, key assignment is default. All right, so we can change it. We can macro it. We can remap it. Key combination, multimedia, give it a mouse function, text, launch, app, launch application. You could disable it or you could use it to, to switch profiles. Um, so we'll click on, we'll click on uh, a macro. So playback options, playback once, multiple times, toggle continuous playback. Play while assigned key is, I'm going to assume that says playback, macro, and then assign macro one. So that, that would mean that essentially just blanks that key so you could make it, in, you could use it in a game. And then we could remap it, find key to, key combination, bind it to something else, make it a play pause, you could change it. Make those multimedia functions. I might actually do that right now. Play, pause, next. Yeah, I'm doing that. Previous. Play, pause. Because I always hate having to go touch, hit these. And, um next because so I already have I have these ones remapped for my OBS but I don't think you can't do that from here so yeah guys that's how you do it so you guys just watching make these my media keys 
And uh, yeah, this stuff's pretty cool. You guys could customize it. You could mess around with it some more. Try and find some more, some more intricate things that you guys might need for yourself. But this is a great, this is a great, uh, pretty great keyboard for the price range. It's a little bit less than Ducky. It is not a cheap keyboard by any means. But I think for the price point, it's a, it's a pretty solid keyboard. It gives you these, this driver software where you can macro keys and and remap keys and stuff like that. It's a pretty solid build, and it comes with some pretty solid, some pretty solid uh, switches in it. Um, I'm going to give it overall, I don't think it's a 10 out of 10, uh, but it's a, it's pretty, it's a pretty solid keyboard compared to ones that I've, I've looked at. I'd probably give it like a seven and a half out of 10, a 75, you know, like a, a, a B plus it's, it's a pretty good keyboard. Um, it is a little bit expensive for what I think it is. I think it could be a little bit better for, for its price point, but I do think it is a good quality keyboard.